unite of victory. Victory is ours. Unite of victory. You win tonight. We win. Unite of victory. We receive. I can hear you, somebody make a Holy Ghost crazy noise. Your night of victory. You win the lose. Hallelujah. You win the lose. I win. You win. The lose. I can't hear you giving praise Jesus. to Jesus. Hallelujah. To Jesus. Give him praise. We glorify you, Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Give him praise, give him praise. You, you have to know why you are here at this time of the night. You could have been sleeping by now. But if you are here, it's because of divine appointment. Hallelujah. Something will manifest tonight. I receive. While they are sleeping, you will receive. I receive. Give Jesus Christ the loudest, the craziest praise you have. Hallelujah. Oh, Glory yeah. to oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Glory to Jesus. Hear me. Oftentimes we don't understand, we don't understand, we don't understand that nothing leaves heaven to earth before something leaves earth Amen. to heaven. Oh, yeah. you, you, the, the reason why many are beaten with the Bibles next to them, beaten by the devil, is because though they say Jesus, they do not understand anything about the kingdom. Mm. Amen. There are certain things that you have to do. Well, Jesus Christ did what he had to do for you. And because of that, you are established. Amen. Because of that, heaven is yours. I receive it. But now here, what you have to do will position you. Mm. It may be raining out there and rain is for free. But though it may be running out there, if you do not expose yourself to the rain, you remain dry. Uh -huh. So there are certain things that you have to do. You must step into it. Amen. Now, when in the house of God, you are made to shout praises unto God, calling his name, blessing his name. Those are things that you are required to do. So that your blessing may manifest. I will see. Now here, here, here. Hear me. Now while you are in church, if the pastor will lead you to that, is trying to get you somewhere as a coach. Is trying to lead you somewhere. Now, I, 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 I have to open a bracket. If you are here, you come from the church where screaming and shouting is noisy is uh, destructive uh, forgive us in advance eh. 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 Woo. Yeah, that oh. yeah. what God has ordained for you to have tonight hey. You will have it tonight. I receive. I say you will have it tonight. I receive. Not tomorrow. I say you will have it tonight. In Somebody give of Jesus of Christ the precious praise you have. Give him, give, him, give, him, give, him, give it to Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. I say give it to Jesus. Glory to yeah. Jesus. Hear me. From the time of John the Baptist till today, the kingdom of God suffers violence. Amen. 
and the violent take it by force. Your life is taking a different turn from now. I say, I say your life is taking a different turn. I say, the, the violent do not wait for it. Amen. You waited for too long. That's right. You waited for too long. Mm -hmm. Hear me. The, the, there is a time where you wait for a touch. You want him to touch you. Mm. But there is a time where you go and touch him. Hey. That's right. Hey. If I can only touch the hem of his garment, hey. I shall be made well. I'll say. I pity the devil that has been in your case. I pity those who have been knitting things together for your downfall. For today, the sword of the Lord is pulled. Victory is coming to the house of God. Somebody, I prophesy your victory. You are coming out of your trial. You are coming out of your trouble. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And hear me, for your miracle, we have all night. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I say for your miracle, we have all night. All night. Amen. Jacob. Met with the angel. And Jacob said, Today is not business as usual. If you came to have church as usual, wrong address. Wrong address. Jacob said, Leo, Joe Leo. And he said to the angel, I will not let you go. Until you bless me. Oh, yes. Somebody is getting his miracle tonight. I said so tonight. The, the devil, devil like it or not tonight. Tonight. It's mine. Hear me. The year is going to an end. Many people had said certain things to manifest until now they have not seen. In fact, others decided to rewrite what they are expecting or what they were expecting this year to 2019. But my name is Aflo Kau. Hey. Oh, yes. He sent me to tell you, your miracle that is the stand for 2018 will not manifest in 2019. You will receive it this year. You will receive it this year. No postponement of your miracle. I said no postponement of your miracle. I said no postponement of your miracle. May something manifest, may something Manifest, made it manifest, made it manifest in the name of Jesus. Well, tonight, be it that you are in the overflow, in the basement, in the extension, in the auditorium. Or you are watching live. Hey. Something is about to happen to you. I will say. Find five neighbors and give them prophetic high five that seals the words. Hey. 
Amen. Woo! The devil thought that he won. He lied. He lied. He lied. They thought that you are down. They lied. They lied. They thought that it was over with you. They lied. They lied. Your time has arrived. Your time Tonight has arrived. is your time. Jesus, you will receive what God has in store for you Amen. by fire. I will see. So shall it be. Amen. It cannot be otherwise. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you feeling what I'm feeling? Yeah. Overflow. Are you feeling? What I'm feeling. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. He's a mighty good Amen. God. God is a good God. Is a good God. God. Woo. So we give him all the glory. We give him all the praise. We honor him. We honor him. Yes, Lord. Bless us, Lord, today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please have Amen. a seat. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Karababo set up. The crossing over that is coming, we all meet here from the 31st till the following day. We cross over together in an overnight like this one. But in that same time, we will have one of the most strategic God's ordained IVP. I beseech you in God to be part of it. In that IVP, the Lord had vividly spoken to me that I should lay hands and anoint you with special oil to prepare you for the year to come. I say only God knows what 2019 holds. Amen. And if God will ask that you may be prepared for it, the little wisdom in you should let you do so. Amen. There should be no greater prize than just to obey God. For in that obedience is your victory. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, so I want you to make sure that you register. And make sure that uh, you are part of it. If you are out there watching me, register not from social media. Register from uh, the website or the phones. Hallelujahministries.com We had unfortunate incident where people have registered IVP with Senegal. And they're coming to Johannesburg. Don't fall for that. The devil is a liar. Amen. I want you to do so and God will bless you. Lift your hands. Say, I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit. Keep that hand up. Hear me. If by the grace of God, I manage to get the truth of God tonight in you, the spirit of God will have a leeway to change you completely. I receive it. Say again, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. Keep your hand up. If today you will catch by revelation the utterance of the spirit through my vocal cords, nothing in your life will remain the same. Amen. The level of your victory is informed by the level of your revelation. That's right. Your life cannot grow beyond the level set by your revelation. If your revelation is in level two, you cannot live your life in level three. I have prayed that tonight God may enlighten your spirit that you may see clearly the, the light of Jesus. his word. So by revelation, you may get tonight everything that God has for you. I receive. Say again, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. 
So, Heavenly Father, pray tonight, use me as an instrument. Speak a life-changing word. Transform your people. Bless us, O oh God. May this presentation of your word be filled with rumors. Please, O oh God. Somebody's watching that needs you. Somebody's destiny depends on it. Father, pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I quickly want to share with you a few things very quickly, and I pray that you may open your spirit and your heart to receive. For I am persuaded that if you will receive what God is saying in this season, your life will take a different turn altogether. So if you may, please read with me from the book of John chapter 3, verse 6. John chapter 3, verse 6. At the count of three, shall we read together? One, two, and three. Read it again. Last time. Now these are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ himself. And here is not just trying to edify somebody who is weak in his faith. No, he's revealing something that is a make or break for everyone who walks with him. If you understand the context, he's speaking about being born again. And he's announcing something ahead of time. For nobody could have been born again unless Jesus Christ had died and rose from the dead. So it is in anticipation that he's speaking about the treasure in revelation of the kingdom. Then he says in verse 6, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that is that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Is spirit. Now here he's talking about not angels. He's addressing a man, encouraging him on things that he knew that he could not get now. He could only access it in the future after the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus himself. But in anticipation, he spoke to him about being born again. While this message was troubling his mind, because the better part of what God says to us troubles us. Because you, you, you will agree with me that the word of God is bigger than our mind. And often time we do not need sense or understanding we need faith to accept it. So as he's engaging this man, he reveals to him something that is crucial. He says, what is born of flesh cannot be any other thing but flesh. What is born of flesh can only be flesh. If you can set in your mind the source of what you are facing by the mere fact that you know its source, you should be able to determine its nature. A son of Aflu Kau has his DNA. Oh, he yes. walks like him, he speaks like him, he moves like him. Are you hearing me? That's right. You cannot pull. A lion out of a cat. No one in his right sense of mind will go to to harvest oranges from a mango tree. It is an error. A grave error. He said, if you can determine the source of it, you will also be able to establish 
It's nature. Because the nature of a species is determined by its carrier. That's right. He says again, please have a seat if you can. He says, what is born of flesh is flesh. Now, he's addressing a well-reputed man. In the community, a man who was highly regarded as uh, somebody close to God, somebody who knows God, somebody who works with God, somebody well learned, is teaching him that uh, there are levels. In the level where you are, your reputation, whatever experience you have, your qualification are all in the level of flesh. Now, I want you to be born again. Because I want you to be now born from a different source. So he said, if you are born in flesh and you came from flesh, you can only be flesh. That's right. Whatever is born of flesh is flesh. Then he carried on. He said, and whatever is born of spirit, whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. Lift your hand and say, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. Say it again, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. Whatever is born of flesh is flesh and whatever is born of a spirit is spirit. Now, family, this is what God wants to deposit in your spirit. This is what God wants you to understand. And I believe that God wants to move you from where you are to this point where you begin to understand and operate as a spirit. For it is clear that if you will be operating as a spirit, your weakness in the flesh will never be binding again. Praise the Lord Jesus. The reason why we are falling like mere men is because we are standing as flesh rather than standing as spirit. A spirit is not bound by the limitations and the weakness of flesh. Many will look at certain people who are operating in the spirit and wonder, how is it that they're doing it? The only reason why they are able to do certain things that are goes, beyond, that goes beyond the understanding of man is simply because they are not operating from the level of flesh. They are operating from the level of spirit. And Amen. as the Lord will have it, I want to present to you some truth, trying to push it into you. For I am persuaded if you will grab it, you will never be defeated again. I will say. Are you hearing me? Now, you see, whatever is born of flesh is flesh, and whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. I am a spirit. What does it mean to be a spirit? Does it simply mean to be somebody who loves the things that the Bible speaks of that pertains to spiritual things? Does it simply mean that uh, when I am a spirit, I love things that are spiritual? There is a great weakness that I want us to deal with today. And again, I say, if I can get you out of this and get this one in you, I will guarantee you victory every day of life. Amen. When we speak about I am a spirit, here the Bible is addressing a nature. The Bible is not speaking of possession. Not only that uh, you have a spirit, but he's saying you are a spirit. Being a spirit here goes beyond mere possession. It's speaking of your identity. It's who you are. If you are a spirit, it means... Everything in you, everything out of you is spirit. This is a mere reflection of you to help you connect with the natural realm. This is your lowest form of existence. You are far wider, far greater, far bigger than the shape of your body. The height of your body, 
the color of your skin. Are you hearing me? Amen. It's trying to say, I am a spirit. I have the nature. Not only that I have some form of smoke in me that is called spirit. No, I am that spirit. Everything in me. Now, today, if you understand that you are a spirit, I will push you to a place where you begin to operate as a spirit. Because you see, it is easy to claim I am a spirit. It is difficult to operate as a spirit. A parrot can say, I am human. I'm a man. 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 If you will repeat it to the parrot long enough, the parrot will catch it and begin to say it. I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. But the difficulty the parrot in that cage will have is to begin to do what men do regularly. So if you believe today that you are a spirit, I want to build you up. I want to... I sincerely want to be a, a, a the Lord spoke to me if I will manage tonight to, there will be great men here if I will manage to I have a seat. There is, there is a burden in my spirit. I am trying to give birth to a new generation of men and women who will walk differently. If only I'll manage to make you, to work on you, like a potter will do to the clay. If I I'm a spirit, though I may be in this realm, but my place of operation is not primarily here. Amen. I operate in a spiritual realm. Now you got to understand, family, very quickly that there is a realm called a spiritual realm. When I'm talking about a realm, I'm talking about a kingdom, I'm talking about a space, I'm talking about a domain of activities. There is a domain of activities that is called a realm. A realm is a domain of activities. Now, when we speak about a spiritual realm, we're talking about a spiritual domain where spiritual activities take place. Are you hearing me? Amen. One of the major setbacks of Christianity in our time today lies in the simple fact that Christianity does not equal spirituality anymore. The greatest setback we have today is that the Christianity today is many things but spirituality. Wow. We speak spiritual things. We have a spiritual language. But uh, today, Christianity as you know it is far away from spirituality. And I will break it down so you may understand. Though we believe that uh, the clear way to be a Christian is in being Christ-like because Christianity stands for being like Christ. And we think that if I am like Christ, by clear conclusion, I am spiritual. But what we do not understand is that you can try according to your mind to be like Christ by just checking on how he walked on earth. What he said that pertains to this life and the miss the better part of being like him. The better part of Jesus Christ is the anointing, is the spiritual side. That's why you are not just Jesus-like. You are Christ-like. Christ speaks of the anointing. Christ is a spiritual position. Are you hearing me? Amen. So you can be today one who's known as a Christian and still not understand anything about Christianity. 
Again, I say, the greatest witness we have today in the body of Christ is not that we do not love God or we do not go to church or we do not pay our tithe. The greatest witness we have, both in pews and on the pulpit, lies on the fact that today Christianity does not equal spirituality anymore. Meaning this, we have separated things that are supposed not to be separated. We have set ourselves to be champions of behaviors on a natural realm. We push behaviors as if that was the ultimate mission of the church. God didn't send the church to check on whose uh, uh, skirt is longer than the other. God did not send the church to stand and check on your makeup, your style. This one has a tattoo. This one does not have a tattoo. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, nobody will make it to heaven because he did not, make it, he did not have a tattoo. Or somebody will miss heaven by the fact that he had a tattoo. God did not send the church to debate whether Christmas is uh, godly or not. All those things may be accepted, but you must know that they are not ultimate. Are you hearing me? Today, the church majors on minors. There are things that are, have no, Im, no impact on our tomorrow in heaven. But that we have built all our ministry around that. Who preaches how? Who says what? How do you move? How do you say certain things? And today, more and more, while the church is being distracted on the things that pertains to this life, the world out there is becoming more and more spiritual. You will realize as you look around you in every sphere of life that the world we live in is now more spiritual than ever. If it was not so, Hollywood will never sell to you movies with people having behind them supernatural powers. Are you hearing me? Because they understand that uh, if it does not make complete sense to you, you might not buy into it. But because they believe that the world now is spiritual, that uh, everyone that lives understand that beyond the natural strength of man, there are supernatural power. That's why you have a tall movie where a man will lift his hand and a hammer will come from a supernatural world. That's why you have a man who has beaten, was once beaten by a spider that now can move from one building to another just like a spider would do. Are you hearing me? While the church today is busy checking on which type of music to listen to and which one not to listen to, the world is taking advantage and leading the world today. God sent me to speak to you. Today is pulling you from the natural realm. Setting you up in the spiritual realm. I receive it. Are you hearing me? Amen. Please have a seat. The spirit of the Lord revealed to me that 98 of those in Christ today, meaning believers, are not affirmed in the spiritual side of their Christianity. 98% living only 2% of believers are not affirmed in the spiritual side of the Christianity. They are Christian by name. They are Christian by dogmas. They know how to sing the hymns. They know when the service starts on a Sunday morning and uh, how it goes and when it finishes. They know what to say amen to and when to say amen. They know all the colors. They know all the looks. But they have forgotten what makes the difference. That is the spirituality of who you are. Lift your hand and say, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. Family, I am trying today to move you from where you've been operating to a higher ground because you are not flesh. You are a spirit Amen. and your place of operation should not be from the flesh realm Amen. but to the spiritual realm. If you don't get to operate from the spiritual realm, this devil that has been challenging you, challenging your house, challenging your health, is about to fall before you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hear this. 
98% of those in Christ today are not affirmed in the spiritual side of their Christianity. And shocking enough, 85% of ministers and preachers around the world did not develop the elementary skills to operate in the spiritual realm. 85% of those we applaud, those we see on television, those who write big books, never... Uh, the, the, the reason why we see today more and more the church of God is good in motivating you. We are good in telling you, pull yourself together. Keep on hoping. We never know. Maybe tomorrow God will calm down for you. If your day is not today, maybe your day is tomorrow. The church today has mastered the art of convincing you that bad is not that bad. Ladies and gentlemen, 85% of ministers and preachers around the world did not develop the elementary skills to operate in the spiritual realm. Now you'll say, if you are already a child of God, you're supposed to be able to operate in the spiritual realm. It is not automatic because you can be my biological son and not operate as a son. You need to be taught how to be a son. There are certain things that are required of a son. If you are not taught, you are not developed in that, you will not be able to be called a, an honorable son. Many children of God, many servants of God, many of those who are in the kingdom of God understand everything about religion. They understand everything about everything in the natural realm. But we fail to understand the elementary things we ought to in the spiritual realm. Family, the house of God, Christianity is supposed to be a platform that makes, brings men to have an encounter with the God. Not merely a place of behaviors. I have no problem with behaviors. But I, I cried my heart. If in 45 minutes all we talk about is shoes. If in 45 minutes all we talk about is uh, how to greet your brother. If in 45 minutes given to us is an opportunity to share the word of God. And all we're talking about is uh, what you drink and what you eat. While all those things are good. I want to remind you ladies and gentlemen. That uh, the impact of change in your life will not come because you dress well. That's right. Glory to Jesus. Somebody will say, Pastor, I'm a very spiritual man. Why? Because today when we speak about spirituality in a large extent, we are thinking of our thought and mind. We think we are spiritual Simply because we think that we relate with what God has said. I am a spiritual person because the Bible said that you should do this and I'm trying to do it. It is beyond that family. You are not a spiritual person simply because you think that uh, uh, the Bible said that uh, I should love my neighbor. And as I love my neighbor, I'm a spiritual person. There are people out there who love their neighbor better than you. Right. Are you hearing me? I am trying to break something so I may build on the other side. I am trying to elevate you to a place where you will never lose battles again. In the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Amen. We think that spiritual, spiritual realm equals our thoughts. When you're thinking something, you say, I am in the spirit. Family, you are not in the spirit. You are still on earth with your thoughts. When you are deep in your thoughts, you think you are in your spirit. And as long as it shall be so, the smallest man on the other side of the enemy will keep on bullying those who have been established in God for years. 
I will explain it to you. And I pray that you understand it clearly. Son, come. If he is a witch doctor, he's not, I promise you. <laughs> if, if he is a witch doctor, his level of power, if he is not just a witch doctor, he is one of the greatest witch doctor that ever lived. His level of power compared to the smallest believer is insignificant. Do you understand? If he is the greatest witch doctor that ever lived, his level of power compared to the smallest believer is insignificant. Glory to Jesus. Why? Because the Bible says so. Satan is under our feet. Amen. I say Satan. Now, Satan is the highest in the kingdom of darkness. The highest wizard is far lower than Satan. Now, if his boss, Satan, is under your feet, how far down is the witch and the wizard? Somebody say, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. Somebody told me, trying to caution me and say, you should be careful to say that uh, you, are, you can never be defeated. I said, why? He said, because you, you, you do not know life. I said, have you seen me ever defeated? <laughs> I mean. But you see, what seems to be too loud to him Arrogant to him is nothing. It is what the Bible says. Correct. But since, since he's operating from the flesh level, he cannot tap into the understanding of the spiritual level. That's right. He feels that the spiritual level, it is being too much. Are you hearing me? Now, this is what the Bible shows. That the greatest wizard that ever lived, his power is uh, insignificant compared to the smallest believer that is alive today. Do you believe that? We believe. But now let me give you another example. Sanka. He, here I have not a smallest believer. I had said the greatest wizard that ever lived. His power is insignificant in the life of the smallest believer. But now here, I don't have the smallest believer. I have a very old, strong preacher. Now, if the smallest believer has so much power compared to the power of the, the biggest wizard, can you imagine when it comes to him? He is not just a small believer. He was baptized in water. This guy. He's a preacher. He has been preaching, having seminaries. But look at this now. He's here. This guy whose power is insignificant according to the word of God, in the life of the smallest believer, looks at him because he has the understanding of how the spiritual realm operates. And this fellow knows nothing else but to put a white collar and speak every Sunday for one hour with a long blue robe. Are you hearing me? I'm just giving an example. I'm trying to picture, to create a picture in your mind. This man knows nothing else. But Jesus loves you. The spiritual realm is not only on that. I will teach you what is it. He now says, I will catch you. And 
And he doesn't know what to do with it. Now, he looks at him and says, why? What did I do to you? Why? Because he doesn't know. In the natural realm, he can call the police. In the natural realm, he can uh, lay a charge. In the natural realm, he can uh, do all kinds of things. But in the spiritual realm, he doesn't know. The best he knows to do is to look to Yahweh and say, Lord, have mercy on me. I am under attack. I stand as a servant of God. And I pray for you that what I am showing you today may open your eyes that you receive a revelation and your life will never be the same I again. Receive it. Now, he doesn't know how to deal with it. The only thing that he knows that he's supposed to do is to pray. But even prayer, prayer is an activity in the spiritual realm, but he doesn't know. He's a gambler. Are you hearing me? The great majority of believers are gamblers. That's right. The reason why I'll make you stand and say your, fin your problem finishes today is because I'm not gambling it. And I will teach you how to do it tonight. Hallelujah. When you just pray, you're gambling. You don't know what you're saying. You are shooting blank everywhere. You are literally a spiritual crook. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm getting you there. Now hear this. He says to him, he's challenging him. You, I'll catch you. I'll deal with you. The only thing he can do is... Now he's talking fear. He's not praying because he has faith. He's praying because he's afraid. His prayer is really like I removed this cup away from me. Mm. Literally. He doesn't know how to deal with it. Now it goes deeper. This man does this to him. Now, keep it, your hand like this. When he's doing this, he's doing something that he knows. He knows what is that he's doing. I told you. <laughs> so he's doing, carry on. <laughs> what he's doing, he knows what he's doing. He knows why he's doing it. And he knows what is to come out of it. That's what he's doing this. He knows that if I will shake it, if I stretch it this way, I will check it in a certain way. Something will happen. Please understand that this is just an example. It is meant to enlarge your spirit. This doesn't mean that uh, devils will do this. I don't want you to sit down and start figuring out. You did it how? No. It's merely an example. I'm trying to get you somewhere. Now, he's doing this. This fellow... Looks at this. You know what it does? The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Now, if you understand what I said earlier on, his greatest power is insignificant in the life of the smallest believer. He is not a small believer. He is a mature one who is supposed to crush this devil. Crushing, but because he doesn't know what to do, the blood of Jesus. You look for me, you don't catch me. <laughs> and while he's saying this, he feels that he's spiritual, he feels that he's strong, he feels that uh, whoa, God has protected me. He's a shame to God, that's right, he's a shame to God. And this is the church of God today. The church of God is in a place of weakness as not seen before. He is running. In fact, he's not just running. He calls all the other believers. Please come, 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 come. Come, 
He said, cover me in prayer. I have problems. All this that is happening is simply because of this devil who is stretching his hand. Are you hearing me? Yes. Now, be believers, cover me. I'm under attack. Re be 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 be. Pray, sisters. Pray, brothers. It's serious now. Oh, Jesus. Listen to me. Pray. Don't laugh. Pray. Pray. Are you hearing this? Now, whatever is happening here seems to be spiritual. Seems to be very deep. This is how the church has played so far. Shame on us. Oh, God. Shame on us. This here is a reflection of lack of understanding. Are you hearing me? Amen. I say again, the smallest of the believer has greater power than the highest of wizard. But if this will happen, it's because we have no revelation and also because we do not know how the spiritual realm operates. We may be spiritually called and spiritually born, but since we do not know how the spiritual realm operates, this remains. And in fact, this devil can throw sickness. Let's say this is sickness. He throws it and it literally lands on him. And then now he is fighting it off. Are you hearing me? He said, Oh God. The devil threw this on me. Oh God. Oh, Lord, remove this. God say, I'm not the one to remove it. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You are to remove it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here. If I can get you to understand a little bit of what I'm teaching you now, some of you, you will do literally this. Dust it off. Shake it off. I receive it. This is what I will happen. I receive it. Some of you will take that financial problem. You just shake it off. I receive you it. You will take that difficulty in your health and just shake it off. I receive. You don't need yakatapu, yakataku, abaku, kakapaka, Just for this. Do you understand? But the problem is not just knowing your right. Because we think that if you know your right today, you are free from it. And as some of us have been reading the Bible and we're still not winning. You have sugar diabetes. You have high blood pressure. You have arthritis. You have eyes problem. You have back problem. All this one person. On top of all this, you are broke. And you are saying that is a curse for my father's side as a child of God. It's simply because you do not know how to navigate and operate in the spiritual realm. The day you understand how to operate in the spiritual realm, not only that you find help for yourself, but you'll be able to help others just like I do. Amen. A number of things that are supposed to happen in this realm does not depend on heaven's intervention. Meaning this, God did not deploy us on earth empty-handed. He said, it is to your advantage that I may go. If I do not go, the Spirit of God will not come. But if I go, I will send him. Meaning, God has given us everything we need to sustain our lives, Amen. to fight the battles and win. Amen. But if you do not know how to use it, you become dependent. And your dependency is often a sign of immaturity as far as God is concerned. Are you hearing me? Amen. Now, thank you, daughters of God. And now, 
this is a child of God, a pastor who understands how the spiritual uh, realm operates. This devil challenges him. Do that. Because he understands it. He said, I'm counting one till three. Not just the counting that is a problem. Because you can count also. And at the count of one, two, three, as a child of God, ta, you are stricken with, by lightning. Because you said it the outside, you did not know how it works inside. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? You must understand the mechanism of it. He understands the mechanism, and I pray that you understand it today. This guy does that. He activates things in the spiritual realm. And he says, you, I am counting till three. Your heart will stop. One, two, three. Do you understand? His heart stops. When you begin to hear, you know, there is a, a magician or a, a, a fafalu that says, I give power to pastors. Really? Really? If a pastor will go and take power from under his own feet. I tell you. Richard Pastor. The, the, there is a big problem. Do you understand? There is a big problem. And it's a problem of revelation and knowledge. That's right. You do not know how it works. You do not know how to operate. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Amen. When you understand what I'm trying to tell you and you begin to grow on that, you can literally look at somebody who has cancer and remove cancer. I believe No devil, no devil will ever play with you. If Satan want to punish a battalion of demons that he has under him, he says to them, you, I'm sending you to Alf. Because the devil knows that if they say Alf, <laughs> now hear this. Every time I say this, someone will think that, wow, you think so high. Of you know, this is given to every child of God. Amen. You don't even need the level of grace and anointing that the other preacher has to operate in that level. You just need revelation, revelation. of who you are. I am a spirit and I operate in the spiritual realm. Are you hearing me? Amen. Come down. Have your seats. Glory to Jesus. We are under the impression that if I come to church today and I lift my hand, I'm spiritual. If I'm singing, I'm singing, I'm spiritual. Every song is not spiritual. Right. You can sing good and God says yes to it, but you didn't sing in the spirit. The mere fact that you have, you, you, you sang gospel does not imply that you sang in the spirit. You can sing in the spirit and you can sing mere gospel. If you, as a child of God, believe that because I have prayed, I prayed in the spirit. No, you can pray and you pray you. The Bible says that. And you can pray in the spirit. And all these are things that I will help you. To be spiritual cannot be limited to loving godly things or striving to live according to them. The mere fact that I don't want to insult anybody, I'm a spiritual person. You're just a good person according to God. But to be able to operate in the spiritual realm goes beyond this. A spiritual, the spiritual realm is a domain of activities where things take place. What you see in the natural realm is uh, true in the spiritual realm. If people can move in the natural realm by walking, you can walk in the spiritual realm. 
if people can speak in the natural realm, they can speak in the spiritual realm. Just as you can see in the natural realm, through your eyes, you can see in the spiritual realm, through spiritual eyes. The same way you can hear through the mushroom attached to your head, your ears, in the natural realm, so you can hear in the spiritual realm. Those who hear in the spiritual realm today, even in the church of God, they seem to look like aliens because the church of God is alien to anything that is spiritual. But you must understand the spiritual realm is a reality. You can operate in that. You can operate even more in the spiritual realm that you operate in the natural realm. The spiritual realm is invisible, yes, but it's real. The influence of the spiritual realm is higher and greater than the influence of the natural realm. What happens in the spirit impacts what happens in the natural realm. Amen. So if you will operate up there in the spiritual realm, whatever you do there will reflect itself in the natural realm. Before a victory is a victory, it has to be set in the spiritual realm as victory. Unless you win your battles up there, you will keep on failing them down here. But if you will win your battles up there, you will enjoy victory down here. Amen. Now there are three things that I want to speak to you today. And I pray that God may give me an opportunity to keep on speaking this way. And uh, hammering the same thing. Opening your eyes and teaching you the elementary things that you got to understand in the spiritual realm. But tonight is a night of power. I want to build you in power. Not in your muscle power, but in your spiritual power. Therefore, I want you to understand this. There are three important things that I want to focus on tonight before we begin to pray. The gift of the Holy Spirit the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and the praying in the Holy Spirit. What is the impact of the baptism, or I will say, what is the impact of the gift of the Spirit? The gift of the Holy Spirit are your senses and tools in the spiritual realm. Those who do not operate in the gift have no sense, no tools. In the spiritual realm. That is the reason why. There is no believer. For whom. There is no provision. To operate in the spiritual gift. God has made a provision. For every believer. To operate with spiritual gift. Why? Because spiritual gift. Are your senses. And your tools. In the spiritual realm. It helps you to feel. In the spiritual realm. They help you, the gift. They help you to feel in the spiritual realm. They help you to navigate in the spiritual realm. They help you to see in the spiritual realm. They help you to hear in the spiritual realm. Somebody in whom the gift of God are active, the spiritual realm will be natural. Are you hearing me? Amen. I am often in my place of prayer. I am praying. The walls are all over me. Four walls. But while praying, I can see somebody who is linked to me and maybe in Nigeria and is going through a situation. I'm not having an image of him. I'm seeing him. Are you hearing me? I am seeing him. I am seeing him taking a glass of water. I am seeing him sitting to watch TV and I'm seeing him saying, oh God, why, why this? I am seeing him. But I am not seeing him from a natural ground because it is impossible to see that far from a natural ground. ground with all the obstacles that distance may present. But I am seeing him from a spiritual ground because you see, in the spiritual realm, everything is together. I am where you are, though you are far. That's how the spiritual realm is. Everything is so linked, so connected. But I am able to do that because of the gift of the spirit. Gift of the spirit are your senses and your tools in the spirit. 
with the gift of discernment of spirit, you are able to say the spirit here is an evil spirit or the spirit here is a godly spirit. So you are able to pick it up. But if you do not have such a gift, you may be in the spiritual realm, you do not know how to operate. The devil knows when a child of God or a minister of the gospel has no active spiritual gift operating in him, he can manipulate him. He can do what happened here. You do this. There are certain things that are even the craziest sangomas, the craziest witch doctor will never ever dream of doing when it comes to Africa. Oh, yes. The devil knows that uh, here, if I do not want to embarrass myself, let me stay away. You know why? Simply because through spiritual gift, you are able to navigate. It, they are your senses, your tools to operate there. The gift of miracle will cause a situation that the enemy has uh, put in somebody's life for years to get out. I'm here. I look at you. Where are you from? Originally, where are you from? You're from South Sudan. Now, in the natural, you are from UK, so you're not from South Africa. Yeah. You are from South Sudan, yes. originally. Yes. When you look at him, what do you look? His mommy, right? Yeah. She's beautiful, right? She's well-dressed, right? Yes. Now, you are looking at it in a natural realm. Do you understand? If now you are sitting next to her and uh, you have spiritual gift operating, you are able to help her because you can see from the spiritual realm what is happening. Then you can say, your child, I'm seeing a boy who is in Botswana and that this child is doing this and I'm seeing you in the camp and in the camp they injected something in you and I am seeing, are you listening to what I'm saying? Hey. I am seeing your vein as I look at your vein. What is in your vein? The blood, they don't look at your vein, you look at your skin. Yeah. Look, at, look again, what are you seeing? What are you seeing? Can you see your vein? Yeah. The bone, my bone is here. Sorry? You, uh, you say about my... Vein. My, yeah, it's pain. Vein. All right, mommy, it's okay. Hmm. But you see, what I'm saying is that I look at her, I can see a problem. I can see a blood problem. Do you understand? Yes. I can see a blood problem. I can see where the blood problem came from. Do you understand? I can say when the blood problem began. I can also say who else in the family among your children have the same blood problem. Do you understand? Yeah. Now I'm not speaking to you, I'm speaking to them. Okay. <laughs> now, if you ask mommy, how does pastor know about this, 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 this? I'm giving an example here. I'll begin praying just now. Could it be that uh, you told pastor what he's saying about you? She will tell you no. But how is it that you know? You know it because you can operate in the spiritual realm. That's right. If you operate in the spiritual realm, you can come to your house and know something is wrong here. Do, do you understand that? Yeah. Mommy, since I, when I start praying, I'll pray for you first. And God will heal you today. Glory okay? to Jesus. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. This is how it operates. So you, the spiritual realm is a place, is a domain, is a place of different activities. If you have gift of the Holy Ghost, you are able to navigate clearly. You are able to sniff it. There will be spiritual gift here today. I will see. When
when a child of God, a man of God, a, a believer does not operate actively in the spiritual reign, he doesn't see, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. He may know the letter, but you must know, the letter killeth. But the spirit gives life. If you follow somebody who goes like this, you'll make a lot of mistakes. And if you get there, you'll get there with a lot of scars. I'm not trying to shoot anybody down. I'm trying to help you up. If everything has to be, I try it. It's not working. Then I know that this doesn't work. I try this one. Do you know how many cars you'll bump if you have to drive that way? But the true spiritual gift, I am able to help you. I am able to help myself. Amen. A mother will look at his son and say, hey, come here. Kneel down. Lift your hand. I rebuke you, devil. Whatever you plan to do in my son's life, I cancel it. And the son goes out and comes home. As simple as that. But if she has not done that, the son would have gone out and never come back. So spiritual gift will help you. Lift your hand and say, Lord, Lord, I want to operate in the spiritual realm. I want to operate in the spiritual realm. May the gift of the Holy Spirit, May the gift of the Holy Spirit begin to work through me. Begin to work through me. Now, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is essential because it establishes you. To operate in the spiritual realm. Now, the gift of the spirit does not make you a spirit. The baptism of the Holy Ghost does not make you a spirit. But it establishes you. You know in Africa, if you're watching me from America or from around the world, a male child is groomed to a certain level. When he's of age, the elders take him to the mountain or take him for training. Such a child will go as a child. When he comes back, because of the experience and the encounter he will have, he is established to be a man. Now, the baptism of the Holy Spirit does that to you. It establishes you to be a man. It takes a boy and makes him a man. Am I saying that uh, if you're not baptized in the Holy Spirit, you're a boy? You heard me correctly. The baptism of the Holy Spirit makes a boy in the Spirit to a man in the Spirit. It establishes you. I was already born again. I could not speak in tongue. I was not baptized in the Holy Ghost. I was leading a team, a strong intercessory team, but I still could not speak in tongue. Everybody was baptized in the Holy Ghost. It was, I think, three years after I had given my life to Christ. Everybody in my church spoke in tongue. I was not baptized in the Holy Ghost. We had one man who was sent to help my team. He was an elder in the Lord. They brought him to come and teach us on our intercession. When he began to speak, I was the one who was hosting him because I was the leader of the team. He asked a question. How many of you speak in tongue? Everybody lifted their hand. And the leader that I was, seated there next to him. I felt undermined, humiliated. Everybody was there. And I was like, huh, if I lie here, <laughs> it's the house of God. You're checking who's looking. But it's a small group. Everybody's seeing. <laughs> I wanted to say, ladies and gentlemen, start praying. 
So I thank God for his wisdom. He looked and he realized that the leader of the group is not baptized in the Holy Spirit. He changed the page. He spoke about something else. Then he said, let's begin to pray. Pray the Holy Ghost. People started praying the Holy Ghost. He moved me. He came close to me. First, he came to verify if I was playing in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and I could pick it up because you see in life, though you may look this side, you have that eye that uh, checks everybody. So I could see he's coming. Yeah, the baby said it. Uh, yeah, no, you don't catch me. Uh. Because I was saying, Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. Jesus, I love you. When he came, I changed my phone. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Then he pulled me and said, the gift of God are for you. The baptism of the Spirit is for you. That changed my life in that domain. Glory to Jesus. I decided to enter into a seven days fasting, seeking God for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I didn't just get it. Seven days, from Monday till Saturday. On Saturday, tired, I went very far out of the city to go and lock myself to pray, to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. I wanted it with everything in me. I wanted it. And after Seven days of being tired. I remember that we had a youth meeting. So I had to move from where we were. I was to come to the youth meeting. Hoping to go back. In that youth meeting I remember. While everybody was in the Holy Ghost. I don't know how. I, I started feeling funny. See when the things of the spirit start operating in you. You won't feel the same. You start feeling funny. You see somebody. Ah! That, that, that's why ladies and gentlemen don't be judgmental when you come to church like this and you see somebody in the Holy Ghost hey 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 ah! I, I, I began to feel funny my hand started shaking and I was trying to stop it but it could not now I wanted to say something to God to say Lord what is happening I See, I wanted to say, what is happening to me? <laughs> Till today. Glory to Jesus. It never stopped. Amen. I believe, though I had my little team of intercessors, I was a boy. But that day, I became a man. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So the baptism of the Holy Spirit establishes you as an operator in the spiritual realm. If today you are baptizing the Holy Spirit, you will begin to operate in the spiritual realm. And the speaking in tongue, I told you that I will speak in tongue today. The speaking in tongue or praying in the Holy Spirit... Builds you strong in the spiritual realm. When you pray in the Holy Spirit, you edify yourself. Yes. But you do not edify yourself in a natural realm by praying in the Holy Spirit. You edify yourself in the spiritual realm. Those who pray in the Holy Ghost are strong. And the devil cannot mess up with those who he knows is strong, they're strong. If you pray in the Holy Ghost, and you travel in that, you'll be strong. I had a leader who every time he had to minister for 45 minutes, he will take two weeks. And in two weeks, every day, he will pray 10 hours in time. This man birthed me in prayer. He was not my spiritual father. He was just in the church. For a 45 minute preaching, he will spend 10 hours. Yaraba koto hibe, kata rebe sata, robo sheke tebe shia. He will break it two hours, three hours, and the space, but 10 hours for a program. And when he shows up to begin to minister, from the gates, devils are running. Thank you, Jesus. From the gates. I have 
have seen power demonstrated to this man as not seen in my church before. I saw him calling, hello! And everybody is <laughs> like, hello, he came. You know, you call God and he came. Because often you call him, he say, huh? From up there. <laughs> but this time you see, he say, hello! Everything changed. Even the street, it's like a, he <gasps> carried the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. He was a man of power. Now, when you are like that, which sickness will come to you? When you operate in this way, which diabolical spirit will play cheeky cheeky with you? You become stronger than your enemies. Amen. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Where others before you did not succeed, you begin to succeed. Why? Because you understand power. Are we together? Amen. I want you to stand up. I want I wanted to, to try something. I want us to try something. Raba koto soto koboshia. Take a minute and pray. Take a minute and pray. What, what's your name? What's your name? Can I pray for you? Come. Stand up everywhere you are. Basement. Any overflow. Mazeketa roboshia. Raba basete. Remain here. Pray from here. Today God... Pray in the Holy Ghost. Soto reka sata, sate rebe sata rababo soto, sata reketa soto. Boshata Rebe Kata Sete Rebesa Basata Reketa Toyobo Basheketa Ribaza Oh, 
Jesus. Lift your right hand. Say, I am a spirit. Say again, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. I will not die. I will not die. Like a mere man. Like a mere man. Say, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. I will not fall. I will not fall. Like a mere man. Like a mere man. Say, I am a spirit. I am a spirit. I cannot be limited. I cannot be limited. Like a mere man. Like a mere man. I am a spirit. I am a spirit. Today. Today, I take my rightful place. I take my rightful place in the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm, I claim my victory. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look at me now. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Something is happening. Look at me. That's that's already the spirit touching men and women. How many of you are baptized in the Holy Spirit? Wave to me, with an evidence of speaking in the other tongues. Thank you. How many of you are longing for it, but uh, you do not have it yet? You want to have it? You want to speak in tongue tonight? Can I see your hand? Thank you. Put your hands down. How many of you have any other gift of the Spirit except or beside the speaking in tongue? Can I see your hand? You know it. You not just uh, you know I operate in that gift. Can I see your hand? All right. All right. If I can't, this is very, very few. In the spiritual realm, when I operate in the spiritual realm, I'm not gambling. I don't wait to enter into trance. Are you hearing me? Amen. If I want to speak in tongue, I speak in tongue. It is given to me. That's what I call it, gift. If I want to prophesy, it's a gift. I exercise it. Are you hearing me? Amen. There is a gift of miracle. I want to operate a miracle. is a gift. I don't expect to start feeling something moving. Then I move. No. I understand how it operates. There are dynamics in the operation. That is a conversation for another day. There are times where God says, don't exercise the gift this way here. Because even when you exercise the gift of the Spirit, the Lord, through the Spirit of God, still guides you through. He will say, not here now. Go there and do this, but you're operating in it. Are you hearing me? Amen. The gift of God are given to us. And it is, according to the scripture, to, for the edification of the body, the betterment of the body. It is so that we may help each other. The one who has been blessed with such a gift, or this type of gift, will help someone on the other side. Are you hearing me? A lawyer will go to a doctor when he needs a doctor, a medical doctor. But the time will come where the medical doctor may need a lawyer. He will not represent himself because he also studied. He will go to a lawyer. Are you hearing me? So that's how it operates. I am saying this because in a few minutes here, it will be a scandal of gift. The Lord is about to re release gift. We receive it. Once you begin to operate in that level, you will see victory come. Amen. Victory that will come immediate. It will come it. in your life, in your, the life of those around you, Amen. and even the body of Christ uh, in general. Something will happen. If you are sick here, may the gift of God begin by fixing your body today. In the name of Jesus. But you must believe it and accept it. There is no abracadabras in God. You have to exercise your faith. If he says it, you believe it, that settles it. You got to believe it and you'll see it come to pass. Are we together? Amen. Are we together? Amen. Sir, the reason why I ask you to come, the Lord say you my son. Come, come here. You there. What is your name? Sorry? Daniel. Your name is Daniel? Yes. Daniel. Are you from church here? I'm from, I came from Italy. You came from Italy? Yeah. All right. You came from Italy. Yeah. This is Daniel. He came from Italy. I'm passing and the Lord says to me, 
that uh, he is my son. Are you hearing me? Now, I am not saying this because I want another son. I am saying this is because of the connection that uh, you allowed your spirit to with me. Yes. Do you understand? Have you been watching me? Over two years. Over two years. Every, every service I watch it. Every service. Yes. Every service, every, every Sunday. Service. So Friday, I watch every service. Even if I'm not able to, when I come back, I come and watch it. Do, do you see this? No, Jesus. So for two years, you've been watching us. In yes. the two years, did you come to Alleluia Ministries or this is the first time you My are here? My first time. In the two years? Yes. Now God say. This is your son. And the reason why he said that, he said, I should release an impartation mm. on you. Hallelujah. You are, you came from Italy. Yes. But I'm seeing you in Ghana. I'm a Ghanaian by origin. You are originally from Ghana. Ghana, yeah. Though you are in Italy. Yes. Do you know where is Milan in Italy? Yes. It's close to me. You know where is Milan? Yes. It's, it's, close, it's to close to you. Yes. Gebabo Saya. I am seeing you. You're working, but your heart is for ministry. Yes. But ministry in Italy is difficult. Very, very. I am not saying that you are leading a church. Mm. I'm not saying that. Mm. But it seems like you are in ministry. Yes, I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. Yes. You are in a ministry. Yes. You are a pastor. Yes. Do you have children? Yes, I have two boys. You have two boys? Yes. Your boys are serving God with you? Yes. Your wife? Yes. A woman of grace? Yes. Elizabeth Carey? Elizabeth, yes. That's her name is Elizabeth? Yes. yes. That's her name. Hallelujah. The name of your wife is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Do you know Dennis? Dennis is my first born. Do you know Chris? Chris is my second born. Glory to Jesus. Now, when, when you watch this, when I'm speaking to him, everything I have said, now, how do I know it? Do you think I'm Superman? No. Mm -mm. It's the spirit. That's right. You can operate in the spirit. I believe. And this should not be strange for Christians. Because Christianity and spirituality should be one. We are spiritual people. That's why we speak to a God we don't see. Right. Unless we have fallen on our head. We believe to go and live in some places. Out of this world. We believe that uh, the trumpet will sound and they will be taken. Why? Because everything about our faith and our belief is spiritual. Amen. So every time you cut yourself on spirituality because this for you is too much. You think it's magic. What is magic? Really? This is the power of God because God loves you. And that this is a sincere man who has trusted God. God led him here. And to prove to you Check him after we have prayed. Glory to Jesus. May I stretch my hands towards you. May I declare a word or two over your life. From this day forward, your life will never be the same again. I receive. I say from this day forward, you receive an impartation of the power of God. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Come here. This guy is Daniel. I am Daniel. This guy is from Ghana. I'm from Ghana. Come here. Tell me, you're not saying it because he say, No. This is my first time here, sir. This is your first time here. Yes, please. So Daniel from Ghana, please meet Daniel from Ghana. Let me explain to you. Let me help you. Because this is what God called me for. To help the body of Christ. Amen. That has gone ballistic. Molo. Vegetable. 
Could this be a coincidence? Could this be a coincidence? Because he was here. You saw him, right? Did you see me speak to him? No. So could it be a coincidence that I'll go and tell you about Daniel? You say you are Daniel. I say he's from Ghana. You say from Ghana. As if you are saying it because you heard me say that. Because if it was so, I would ask Rebecca to tell me the truth. That's my wife. Ah. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory to Jesus. So you are Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Maybe again this is coincidence. It cannot be. It can. It's because the same thing that uh, this man has been longing for, you've been longing for it. That's true. Is that true? Yes, sir. You wanted me to pray for you? Yes, daddy. Daddy? Yes. Hallelujah. Something in you told you that uh, this is your father's altar. Is that true? That is in January. Sorry? The month of January. On the month of January? Yes, please. That's what happened. Did you tell anybody about that? No, this is my first time, sir. This is your first time? Yes, please. You have not spoken to anybody about that. You say it happened to you in the month of January. Yes. I am in your January. <laughs> my name is Aflo Kau, and I serve God. <laughs> what God has said for you, nobody can steal it. Amen. Are you hearing me? Somebody say faith word. Say faith word. Faith word. Do you know faith word? That's the church I pastor. Is that the church you pastor? Yes. Sir. Get ready for revival. Jesus. Get ready to see the sick healed. Receive it. Get ready to see doors open. Receive it. God is about to take you, son, and lift you up. God is about Jesus. to do something that will shake the entire Ghana. Yes, save it. The eyes of God have seen you. Thank you, Jesus. The eyes of God have seen you. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. The Spirit of God is here. Amen. Believe it and receive it. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you are. His Spirit is here. Amen. His Spirit is here. Hallelujah. Baraka Sakata Rebeshia. Jesus. Mama Masedere Kantara Babazera. Zorobo Sere. Jesus. Bring him up. Son, God will use you madly. What you've been trusting him will begin to manifest. Believe it in Jesus' name. He has brought you here. Nobody did. He's the one who needed things behind the curtain mm. because he wanted you here. As the Lord will have it, from this day forward, mm. 
you will begin to see acceleration in growth. In the name of Jesus. May what is in me manifest in you too. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Daniel. Kwame. Yes, Kwame. That is my name. Kwame. That is my name. Today, I release grace over you. Receive it. May the power of our Lord fall on you now. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Now, the reason why I ask to pray for you is because I am seeing a, an arrow of the enemy. An arrow of the enemy against you, yes, against your health. That's right. Is that right? That's right. The enemy want to attack you with cancer or is attacking you with cancer. That's right. Is that true? Amen. That's true. Is that what they told you? Yes. Cancer, cancer is a battle Jesus. against cancer. Yes, sir. But God said that the entire church today should pray for you. Thank because you, you have cried before. You have cried. This same enemy had walked in your yard. And destroy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. Where's your wife? She passed away. Your wife died. Yes. To cancer. Your wife died. From cancer. And she died from cancer. Yes. And now cancer is attacking you because the devil wants you down. Was it an organ cancer that killed your wife? That's liver cancer. It was a liver, an organ cancer, liver cancer. Liver cancer. Stretch your hands toward me. Robo city. There are things that only God can do. Amen. Robo city. Cancer walked in your yard. Stole from your yard. You cried before. Your wife is gone. And now it is you. The same cancer, not in the liver now. It is everywhere. It's like the blood. That's, that's true. Is that true? That's true. It is blood cancer. Blood cancer. Leukemia. There is a God in heaven. Amen. This God answers prayer. Thank you, Jesus. He said, call on me and I will answer you. As you stretch your hand, let's pray for Frederick. Jesus. Let us ask the grace of God. What you make happen for him, God will make happen for you too. Amen. Begin to rebuke this cancer. Rebuke this cancer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Pray against this cancer. Shakarababo. Blood cancer. Rama, mama, mama. Be part of his miracle. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Keep on praying for him. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Him. 
Free from death in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. If you are sick here, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, family. Jesus Christ heals. Amen. Lord, I pray, activate your sons and your daughters in the spiritual realm. In the name of Jesus. Get up, Abu Zeta. Lord, I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Do something new for your sons and your daughters. Release your grace, release your power today. In the name of Jesus. Do what nobody can do. Robozea. Zaradara Shorobosete. Mashatara Baba Baba Baba. I'll pray for you. Your enemies, your enemies, your enemies want you down. But you must know. The sacrifice of Christ leads you to salvation. Mm. But as they are sacrificing more than you, you will always find it difficult to win. But you must ask yourself, what the price you got to pay? I'm talking about the sacrifice. I'm not talking about a price price. I'm talking about Christ as sacrifice. To win a battle over those who are breaking themselves in pieces. Shedding blood with your name. Saying that uh, he will not live to see another day. As I see you, they dig your grave. This man has cancer, cancer in the blood. The wife died of cancer of organs. And the same type of cancer is attacking you. Is that correct? This cancer is, the wife was a liver, I'm seeing a kidney. Is that correct? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah, he's my son in the Lord, Papa. Is your son in the Lord? Yes, please. You came together? Yes, please. Hear me. Those who are fighting you, they are laboring more than you. Now, we don't make sacrifice to stay. Whatever we do is to step into what is already ours. But you must know, if you do nothing, mm. the enemy will come and steal in That's front right. of you. You have to learn to pull your sleeves. Mm. David say, exercise my fingers to war. There are certain things that you have to do. If those who are after you are shedding blood, what you are doing must be upgraded. That's right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I'll pray for you now. But I can tell you, you need a sacrifice. It will help you. You teach him that. Yes, Papa. Zakoro Boshia. Today, whatever they say will happen to you mm. to pull you down. I cancel it. In the name of Jesus. I say I cancel it. In the name of Jesus. Please keep in mind, every time I'm saying something, I'm not saying it to say. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not like the, 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 the illustration Jesus. pastor here. Who doesn't know how the spiritual realm operates? Everything I'm saying is a sword release. Amen. Everything. Because I can see that. You will not die before your time. I receive. I say you will not die before your time. In the name of Jesus. The devil is a liar. Amen. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let me come this side. Come here, come, come, come. Come, come. come. 
Pray in the Holy Ghost. Jesus. What's your name? I'm Bishop. Oh. <laughs> your name is Bishop? Yes. Bring me that. Is, do you know this lady? Yes, that is my wife. Lizzie. <laughs> is that you, Lizzie? Yes, I'm Lizzie. Lizzie, is you? Yes. Now, can I help you? I want to help you. Yes. But for me to help you, you must stop the blaming game. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. You blaming her. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You saying that it should be her. Yes. It came through her. Yes. Is that true? It's true, man of God. Is that true? It's true, man of God. Look at me. Have you ever spoken to me before? Never. 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 How will you speak to me? I'm not part of ZCC. Ah. Come on! Hey. Now I say this because they are part of that. Are you hearing me? So when saying that is, if I was part of your church, we could meet there. But I'm AMI. Oh yes. You are in pain. You are afraid. Serious. Serious. Thank you, Jesus. You are God. May miracle happen to everyone under the sound of my voice. Br bring him up. This man, I ask him, have you spoken to me before? Say, it's my first time. Never spoken to me before. What do I repeat it? Is to keep you in faith. I want to keep you in faith. So you may not deviate. You may not fall in the destruction of the enemy. That this is uh, pastor's tricks. There is no trick here. This guy is from ZZC. Me, I'm AMI. Which trick is that? Hey. Do you understand? It's true, man of God. <gasps> now, I, I, don't, I don't want... You come this side. You come there. Now, I want to help you, but I don't want to enter into your game. Your blaming game because it doesn't help you. You blame her. You blame. He's been blaming you. True. It's true, Papa. It's true. He blame me everything. But it's oh, God. So you've been blaming. Yes. You think I, that it is? I have been testing for HIV for many years. I asked her to come with me. She didn't want to test, and I went and test many times and i was negative on april this year i went and test i found that i was positive and i had to blame her because from eight years back i never slept with any other woman except her so i it made me to believe it's her sorry <laughs> She fight me in front of the kids. You, Mali. Mali. <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> you help me, man of God. I have two weeks. I separate. I'm stay at the room. We have a house, but two weeks. I said, God, help me. Every Friday, every Sunday, I'm coming here. My God. <laughs> <laughs> every Friday and every Sunday you'll be coming here. Yes, it, first day I sleep. It is and the bus. There is a bus that side. I sleep because I don't know. I, I said maybe every Friday is 
Sada de Sadi de Reve Church. It's my first day of 14, 14, 13 October. Do you help me, men of God? Yes. No, no, no. Look, you should yes. look at this and have compassion. Mm. When you see people like this, they're coming to seek God. Yes. Are you hearing me? Mm. We are all coming to seek God. We That's all right. need God. Is there anybody who needs God? We need Him. But unfortunately, today, God is not seen. We see the right thing, but it's still, we don't see him. Mm. We need faith. Yes. We need to challenge ourselves yes. out of the little cocoons of comf comfort we have created. If I tell you that Jesus Christ knows you and he want to heal you, will you believe that? I believe that, man of God. I believe I believe. Thank you, Jesus. I believe. I believe. Now, Papa. I want you to stretch your hands toward them. I want you to pray. The reason why I'm asking you to pray, family, is because I want you to be part of the miracles. Yes. And I don't want you to be spectators of what God is doing. Stretch your hand and pray. Pray as children of God. Pray that healing may take place. In the name pray. of Jesus. Soto Rekata Reyabasat Reba Set Royo Bosianda Zoto Rekata Soto Kotesha Zete Rekatoso Pray Rebuke the spirit of infirmity and disease. The name of Jesus. Command that spirit of infirmity to leave her body right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We command the spirit of infirmity. God is saying to me. God is saying, as I pray for you, yes, man of God. As I touch you, I'm touching Andy also. Yes, man of God. And is your first son. Yes, man of God. I'm seeing he has problems. Testicular torsion. Now, what, what, what you see happen here, happening, is a spiritual thing that is taking place. God, my living God. Bring up, bring him, bring him up. Father, mm. in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. I command the sickness to leave this man. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Touch handy as I touch it. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed of it. Now, Jesus name. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mazata reka sata kotobo shata. Zete rebesaya. Whatever they have done against you, I rebuke it today in the name of Jesus. How are you? Still alive and walking. Sorry? Still alive and striving. <laughs> you are still alive. Yes. And striving. Yes. <clears throat> uh, where are you from? Canada. You're from Canada? Yes. The, not from the West Indies? Uh, I'm a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. Sorry? I'm a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago? Yes. But when you say, I am still alive, it's because of so many trials that you are going through. So many problems. 
Is that yes. true? Yes. Is this linked to Petro? She's my wife, yes. Petro. Petro is your wife. Yes. But Petro is now immobile. She's sick. Very sick. She, she lost the function of her body. Yes. Is that true? Yes. She had a surgery in 2003 and something to do with the spinal cord and since then she has been deteriorating. Since then? Yes. And now you need to take care of her because she cannot walk, she cannot move. You have to do everything for her. Correct. And that this, this is really weighing you down. It is too much on you. Your heart is to serve God. And every time you do work for God, there is no stability. True. Is that true? That's true. Nothing remains. That's right. People come and go. Yes. They are blessed by you and they move on. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, I want you to pray with me. Not only for this man, but let's pray together for the wife who is back home in Canada, who is paralyzed to his own say. 2003, she, was, she went through an operation, a spinal cord operation. And since then, the situation never been the same. To this point, she lost the functions of her body. But I believe in miracle. Oh, yes. We believe in miracles too. Thank is you, there Jesus. anybody who dares believe that Jesus is the same? Yes. Yesterday, today, and forever. He is. Stretch your hand and pray Jesus. for her. Petro, let's pray for her. I want you to know he brought you here. And right now is meeting you at the point of your Thank need. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. You're a good man. Thank you. I see what you did with these two children that are not directly linked to you. God saw it. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Christopher and Lenny and um, Asbury. Sorry? Christopher and Asbury. Yeah. God see sees everything and he saw what you did with those two not Monique and Karen no. because Monique and Karen are yours Thank you. Yes. Mm. those are your children Thanks. but the two others stretch your hand as we pray pray, travail speak to God pray for him Pray. In the name of Jesus. Pray. Speak to God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For healing Petra. Here it is. Here it is. Lift your hands. I am seeing a a young woman, you are here. God says that today is your day. Amen. This young woman, I'm seeing you. You were born on the 26th of November. You are in a relationship with somebody from Burundi. His name is Jean Voir. I see you have tattoos in your body. On your left hand side, it's written here, 50. And right here, there is a butterfly. On here, it's written 51, but it's not as clear as on this side. You have another tattoo right down your lower back, very low. It's a scorpion. Right now, nothing is working out. Even your relationship with Jean Voir is not working. Ah, 
come, come. If you are here, come. Come, let me pray for you. Come, let me pray for you. Zotoroboshia, rekete. Zotoroboshia. Everybody lift your hands. Roboshoyoboshia. Bobobosita. Romo soto koboshia. Soto robosete. I will call you, Mama. Go and sit. I'll call you. Soto koboshia. Rama Mama sete. Shika Raba sete. Is that you? What's your name? Immaculate Tembo. Immaculate? Yes. Show me this. My God. Glory to Jesus. Goodness. Do you have something here? Yes. Don't show that. It's too low. Yes, Papa. Yes. Tell me, have you ever spoken to me before? No, I don't know you. You have never spoken to me? Yeah. Did you show people here? Do you know people here that, that you have shown this? No. No. God above us, I want to help you. Right now, you have difficulties with your relationship. Is that correct? Yes, Pastor. You keep on fighting. Yes, Pastor. Many a times, I'm seeing him taking his, uh, his stuff and leaving home, and he'll come back later on. And he has been doing so. Yes, Pastor. Is that true? Yes, Pastor. What does he do? Yeah. He take the clothes, go away, like for one week. You take his clothes and go away for one week. Yeah. And all this you are trying to understand. Why is it that my relationship is bad like this? Is that true? Yeah. Now, we, we have to break this today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as this will be broken, whatever the enemy has Amen. done in your life, may it be broken today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, look at this. There is a problem. The reason why I have seen these tattoos is because in 2005 you were in a relationship with a guy called Martins. Martins. Is that true? Yes, Pastor. It's true. Did Martin help you to do this? Yes, he's the one who helped me. So he's the one, your boyfriend is the one who took you to, to do all 50, 51, scorpion and butterfly. Yes, Lift your hands, somebody say fire. Fire. You see, as long as we will not break the tie, you will never move on in any relationship. To prove it to you, this thing was done in 2005 by Martin. Martin did it as a pact between the two of you. He was using you spiritually. Are you hearing me? Yes. I That's can why hear you keep on dreaming him. Do you dream with Martin? Yes. What do you dream? I dream scary, scary things. With Martin? Yes. Scary things. Somebody lift your hand and say fire. Fire. Now, th this is a young woman who's trying to carry on her life. She is with a French-speaking Burundian guy who's working in Cresta for a restaurant. He's delivering food. Yeah. I can see him with a scooter. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Here. But now his life is bound. Oh, her life is bound. Her life is bound. She has tattoos. These are not decorations. It's not art. It was covenant. Now you can't move on. You keep on seeing this Martin. You will never see that Martin again. 
In the name of Jesus. May your life be open today in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Stretch your hand. Let's pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. Jesus. Pray for her. And help her. In the name of Jesus. Everybody lift your hands and pray with me. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Those of you on the back, Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ knows you. Pray, speak to God. Pray, speak to God. Are you there? Men there. The men, the men, the men. Come. Mazete, Rikesha. Zeterebe canta, serebe cancha. Zeterebe canta. The Lord has so remembers you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is your name? James, James, you're crying in your side. But as I pray for you today, I am praying for Cynthia. That's too many. Who is Cynthia? It's my wife. Cynthia is your wife. Yes. What happened to Brenda? Brenda, she passed away. Brenda passed away. Yes. Now, Cynthia is your wife. Cynthia is still crying. Yes, yes. Look at me, look at me. Yes, man of God. Look at me, look at me. Yes. Look at me. My heart is on pain, man of God. Oh, okay. Look at me. When did Brenda die? She passed away in this April this year. Okay. So you lost your daughter, I lost Brenda. Brenda, yes. Is she your only one? She's the only one. The only child you have? Yes, in my heart. Sorry? She was on, in my heart. She was in your heart? Yes. Look at me. Look at me. Do you have any other child? No. So this was the only child you had? In my heart, yes. In your heart? In my heart. And in your life? In my, the whole life. Ah. <laughs> I, I, I just need to, to <laughs> confirm because when someone say in my heart, you do not know if he's saying, I have another one. No. I have an Ishmael, this one Isaac. Look at me. Do you have any other child? Or you had only one child? Only one. That is Brenda. Brenda, yes. Yes, man of God. Okay. Stand properly. Stand properly. Try to pull yourself together. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Look. He, he lost his child in April. April this year is not far. So the wound is still fresh. Yes, That's what God said to me as you pray for Cynthia. And you say Cynthia is your wife. She's my wife, yes. Cynthia is your wife. She's my wife. Ah. Cynthia is very troubled because of two things. Yes, two. Look at me. Two of me, of course. She's troubled because she's thinking on the way the child died. That's true, men of God. That's true. How did the child die? My, my child she just passed away. You know, it was a long story. Uh, we, were, we were in Agro, with me and my wife. My wife, she was decided to take the child to the daycare. And myself, I just decided to take, to, to, to I just decided to look for somebody that is going to take care of my wife at home because she was too young. 
Okay, you, 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 your wife wanted to take the baby to a daycare. Yes. That's the crash. Yes, that's crash. You say, no, the child is still young. Yes. Let the child be at home. I will get a nanny for the, the child. Maid, yes. The maid. Yes. And? And then uh, one day I was at work on April. Then I just had a call from my uh, neighbor. They say, uh, Brenda, she get bent. She's crying. Your neighbor? Yes. I need you to speak because I'm trying to get them to understand the story. Are you hearing me? Now, you, you're hearing a story. Are you hearing his story? The child was young. The child was young. This child was young. Your child was born on the 27th of yeah. March, 2016. Yes, 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 that's true, man. That's Is that true? Yes. The 27th of March 2016. And in April, when they call you, it was the 6th of April. That's true, men of God. Is that true? That's true, men of God. Your neighbor called you, it was 10 a.m. <laughs> true, men of God. True, men of God. I don't know was it I true? Know. That's true, men of God. Your child on the 6th of April. The nanny was doing tea, making tea. That's true, man of God. And uh, the boiling water fell I on Brenda. Know. I don't know what can I say, man of God. <laughs> That's true, man of God. They call you at 10. When you came, the nanny ran. Is that true? When I get, when I try to open the gate, then I saw her, she was outside, then she, she just ran away. Then I just jumped the gate because I wasn't have the key. So you jumped for your daughter? Yes. Then I found my daughter, she's get bent from the, from the head, going down. Then I tried myself to open the, what you call the, the tap for the shower so that maybe she can release that pain. Then I took my, I just take my, my child to, to the hospital myself. Then she, you took your child to the hospital? <laughs> Leraton Hospital. That's true. That's true. Man you of took God. your child to Leraton yeah. Hospital. Yes, yes. That, on yes, the 6th of April. Yes, man of God. The 7th pass and the 8th of April, your child died. <laughs> yes, man of God. Yes, man of God. I don't know what can I say, man of God. And you are still looking for the, for the maid. She just disappeared. Your child died. You buried your child. Because I can see on Slovo Symmetry. That's true, man of God. You took your child. The resting place was in Slovo Symmetry. Yes. Yes, man of God. Now, you, you're looking for the maid because you're in pain. You're trying to release pain. But let me tell you, even if you find the maid, pain will not be released like that. Today, God is healing you. Something Thank new you will Jesus. begin today. Thank you, Thank you God. Jesus. Thank you, God. Help me, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Thank Look you, at Papa. this. Cynthia is blaming, is crying over two things. First, is the way the child died. The child died with pain. And the second thing is because she's saying to herself, if only you had taken my daughter to the crash, my daughter would have not died. That's the woman of God. I don't know what can I say. She just, she's, she's just going to her parents now. I, since two months. She I decided to go back to her parents. Yes. She's in pain. And she's blaming, she's blaming me every, every time. I don't know what can I say, man of God. Now, family, this man is a man in pain. We, you, you can hear that, right? You see, you see what he's doing here? You can see how, how he's acting. No, no, no man comes to church to act like this. Please help me, man of God. It's because... It's help, too much. Help me, man of God. Too much. Now, no child. He had a child. Now, no child. That's too many of God. May I ask you to pray for him? May you pray that God may heal their hearts. May you pray that God may open a door. May you pray that something new may begin in their lives. Please help me, man. Let's pray together. Amen. 
Shorobo Sete. Jokoto Bosata Rabazete. Shoto. Bless you, Jesus. 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 Do you have children? Do you want to have children? Come here. No. What's your name? I'm Ellen, Papa. Ellen. Yes. Ellen, look at me. Look at me, Ellen. Do you have children? No. Did he leave you because you could not have children? Yes, Papa. He left you? Yes. I'm talking about Isaac. Yes, Papa. Who's Isaac? That's my husband. Isaac was your husband. Yeah. You had four miscarriages. Yes. One, two, three, four. Is that true? Yes. Because of all this, this man say, I can't carry it, I can't carry it with you anymore. Is that true? Yes. When did he leave you? 2016. Sorry? In 2016. In 2016, yes. he left you. Yeah. So Isaac left you in 2016 because you could not give him children. But you see, let me tell you. Look, help me, baby. Help me. God, God will help you. God will help you. Jesus will help you. Look at me. What is happening? How are you feeling? I can't explain. You can't explain. <laughs> You can't explain. I'm feeling dizzy. You're feeling dizzy? <laughs> you know why you're feeling dizzy? <laughs> Look at me. Because everything Naomi brought in your life. <laughs> Look at me. Everything that Naomi brought in your life, God is breaking it out. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> your grandmother wants you to become a Sangoma. Is that true? It's true, Papa. Now, as long as you will say no to this, she says she will punish you. Yeah. She says it will never be well with you until you go for initiation to become a Sangoma. Now, the reason why you're feeling all this movement is because you are in the presence of God. And every power that is contrary to the power of God is leaving you now. In Jesus' name. Lift your hand and pray for her. You will have children. I, you, I am praying that God may open a new door for you. God is able to do so. And he will do so for you now. I, I say he will do so. In the, of Jesus. In the name 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 of Jesus. Lift your hand and say Jesus. Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. May your spirit. May your spirit. Work in me now. Work in me now. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. May your spirit. May your spirit. Work in me now. Work in me now. Stand up if you can. Lift your hands. Let's begin that. If you are here, you don't pray in the Holy Ghost. If you are here, you do not pray in the Holy Ghost. I want you to lift your hand and wave to me that I can see where you are. If you are here, if you are here, you're a pastor, put your hand down. You're a pastor or you serve God or you are called to serve God. But you do not pray in the Spirit, in the Holy Spirit. Wave to me. Don't be ashamed. It's a night. You're a pastor. You are a servant of God, but you don't pray in the Holy Ghost. Pastor, I'm not praying for the sick. 
If you're a pastor and you don't pray in the Holy Spirit or you serve God, you don't pray in the Holy Spirit in full-time ministry, wave to me. Now I want you to come here. Come in front here. Pastors, men of God, come quickly. Come in front here. Something is about to happen to you. Thank you, Jesus. I say I am not praying for sick. I am praying for something bigger than that. Because if you get this, not only that your body will be healed, but you'll be able to heal. Thank you, Jesus. Now, pastors, you are here. Servant of God, you don't speak in tongue. You don't speak in tongue. If you are not a pastor, don't come here. If you are not a pastor, I don't want to see you here. I'm calling pastors. Now, if you are here, you do not operate in a spiritual gift, and you would love to operate in a spiritual gift. There are nine gifts listed in 1 Corinthians 12, and you want one of those gifts two or three of those to be part of you. Can I see your hand? I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up. Look, you, you can't be seated and want an impartation. If you are seated and you are strong, you are strong, you are seated. I am standing and praying for you. May you miss that. I say again, if I'm praying for you standing, you are strong physically, but you chose to sit. May you miss it. You have no respect for the anointing. May it pass you by. And may you go home. Now, if you are here, you do not speak in tongue, but you desire it. You really want it. Can I see your hand? We don't have enough space for all of you. But if you can, move out. If there is space here, those who don't speak in tongue, come here. You will speak in tongue today. In Jesus' name. If you, you are outside in the overflow, come inside. Even if you will not get to the front, the mere fact that you moved, something will happen. Now lift your hands, family. Look at me. Serving God will cost you everything. Not some things. Everything. If you are to serve God, you must serve God with everything. Amen. You must take your body and present it on the altar of the Lord as a living sacrifice. If you got to serve God, you must be dead in yourself. It's no longer about you. If you serve God with a full right, me, I, and myself, you get nothing from God. You serve God in complete submission. 
you open yourself and say, Lord, take it all. If you serve God in convenience, don't speak to me. Don't touch me. I want it. You are a waste of time. You are a waste of time. If you serve God and it's all about you, about your right, about me, don't speak to me, don't touch me. I want to be like this. You, you, you are the reason why weakness is seen in the body of Christ. We are all dead by ourselves. We are all dead by ourselves. You can't serve God and you want God to touch you. You are seated well as madame or mister. Really? In the house of my father? In the presence of the almighty God? Who do you think you are? Amen. Now, those of us who will say, Lord, I surrender it all. It's not about me anymore. Amen. It's all about you. Amen. The glory of God is about to manifest in your life. I receive. As never seen before. You will begin to operate in the Holy Ghost. I receive. You will dust off for everything the devil has brought against you and brought in your life. In the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm praying for an impartation. I am praying for power. So if you are here, you are already baptized in the Holy Spirit. I had told you tonight, we will pray in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. We will speak in, in the Holy Ghost. Speak in tongues. And if you are not baptized yet, desire it. We will lay hands on you. And as we lay hands on you, it will come on you. Amen. Expect it from God. Can we do that? Lift your hands, everybody. Don't get tired. This is that night. That night for your miracle. I am standing as a coach tonight. To coach you in the spiritual realm, To teach you the heavenly character. Mm -hmm. Build you on the ways that Jesus. God has set for you. I will push you until you get there. In Jesus name. I say I will, I will push you until you get there. In the name Pray in the Holy Jesus. Ghost. Pray. Speak to God. Rakata sakataka. Robo sete. Robo sete. Shata, Rakata, Sata, Soto, Korobo, Soto, Rebe, Bebe, 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 Libra Soto Coroba Santa Carabas Zombia Lama Soto Coroba Sebra Bosetta. Pray, 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 pray. Libra Bosata Carabasata Tabasata Tabaso Coroba Sepaloba Seto Massa Carabasata Terabaset. 
Libra bose mandera bosa chapa sera bosanda bos. Libra so mandera so joko mandera so chapa sera Ria lo Rio no 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 Pray, pray in the Holy Ghost, pray, pray, people being baptized in the Holy Spirit. Receive your impartation. Receive your impartation. Rade, receive your impartation. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Yeah, 
Hallelujah. Lift your hand as high as you can get. As high. Look, you, you, you got to seize your moment. If you are watching us live, may you be a partaker of the same grace and the same power. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many of you want to test the power of God? My God. Now, lift your hands and look at me. Look at me. Can you see me? Family, I want to coach you to this level. But as it is said, you can take a donkey to the waters, but you cannot make it drink. The drinking part is your responsibility. Are you hearing me? How many of you want the power of God? How badly you want it? Is there anybody from this day forward who want to operate in the power of the Holy Ghost as never before? Those in the basement, those in the overflow, do you want it? Now, lift your hands as high. There is something that you must do. You must desire. Stop laying hands. Family, stop laying hands. Stop laying hands. Everybody lift your hands. Nobody's distracted. Choir, get ready. It will hit you too. Amen. The fire of God will come on everybody. I receive. The fire of God will come on everybody. I receive. It will come like a wave. It will come like a wave. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Yes. Lift your hand. Say, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. I am thirsty. I am thirsty. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. I am thirsty. I am thirsty. For your glory. For your glory. For your power. For your power. Say, Holy Spirit. Touch me. Touch me. Now. 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 Keep your hands up and begin to receive. Fire is coming. Receive. Receive. Take it. Take it. Receive it. All over the deck. Take it. Receive it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Shut He said, Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. May you walk in power. We receive. May you walk in power. We receive. Lift your hands. You are here. You have never operated in spiritual gift. Gift of revelation, gift of tongue, gift of power. There will be a deposit tonight of the gift of the Holy Spirit in your life. We receive. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? We are ready. Now, I want to prepare you by allowing you 60 seconds you speak to God. Tell God what you want. Then I will release it over you. Can we do that? Now tell God until I say stop. Tell him what you want. If you, if you want to operate in the gift of prophecy, speak to him about it. If you want to operate in the gift of miracles, speak to him about it. If you want to begin to see angels and see vision, speak to him about it. Take a few minutes and begin to pray. Speak to God. Pray. Tell him what you want. It's about to come. Tell him that. Tell him that. It's about to come.
Speak to him, speak to him. He's here. Tonight is your night for impartation. Tonight is your night for power. Speak to him. Tell him what you want. He will give you the desires of your heart. You will begin to operate in the spiritual realm. Speak to him. Speak to him.
to him. Speak to him. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hey. Rakatatata. Build yourself. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Tell him. Tell him the gift you need. Tell him the gift of the Holy Ghost you need. Yourself strong, build yourself strong, build yourself in the Holy Ghost. Ratatata. Tap into the power of the living God. Tap into the power. Marabazoto. Marabababababababa. Zeterere. HIV will be defeated today. Marakasaya. Yorodolo Shataraba. Maracachete Marequetesa Barra Basha Ma Basha Build yourself strong, build yourself, build yourself. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands and stand. Now, something will happen to everybody. Amen. Everybody. That's everybody that is thirsty. Everybody that desires it. There will be a sharing of grace that will take place here. I receive it. Lift your hands as high. Some of you will feel fire going through you. You will feel fire. As we pray now, as we pray, I'll tell you what to do. Fire will come. Others' eyes will open. Your spiritual eyes will open. I receive. You will see angels right here, I right receive. now. But you see, you must desire to receive it. If you desire it, wave to me. 
Now, we are an army, a great army. Anything is possible to those who believe. Amen. Once the impartation of God comes on you, every other battle, every other challenge, the Lord will give you victory. I will say. I mean, cancer will be defeated. HIV will be defeated. Amen. High blood pressure, low blood pressure Amen. will be defeated. But you must be able to catch it. Amen. You must be able to yes. catch it. Are you ready to catch it? Yes. Lift your hands. You will count till seven at my count. At the count of seven, some of you will feel this is happening already. What is happening there, that's what will happen to most of you. Allow the Spirit of God to do it. Are you hearing me? You count one till seven. At the count of seven, spiritual gift will come on you. Those of you will not be distracted. You feel a deposit. I will see. You feel a deposit. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Receive it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Receive it! Receive it! Everyone, receive it! Receive it! Receive it! Keep on receiving, keep on receiving. Receive it. Keep on receiving. Well received. Keep on receiving. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. There he goes. 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 The power. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. We're the same. Take it! We're the same. Shut up, Baba, 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 Rakata, Rakata, Rakata. There goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes. Somebody's receiving. Somebody's receiving. We're saved. A miracle is taking place. A miracle. We're saved. Your portion, your portion. Take it. Keep on receiving, keep on receiving, keep on receiving. Take it. Zara Baba Baba. Baba 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 Baba. Yata Santa. Rakata Toto. Rakata. Rakata Tata. Keep on receiving, keep on receiving, keep on receiving. Keep on receiving. Take it, take it, take it, take it. We are receive. Take it. We are receive. We are receive. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Somebody's the back is receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Somebody's receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yara ba 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 ba. Yes, I rekete, rekete. Never the same, my daughter. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Never the same. In Jesus' name. Yara ba 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 zate. Rakata ta, ta 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 zata. Zate rekete. In the name of Jesus. Never the same. May you operate in higher doors of grace. Jesus' name. Hi, 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 hi. Receive. Hi, 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 hi. In the name of Jesus. 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 Receive. From this day forward, may the grace of God abound in your life. May the grace of God abound in your life we receive as a man the grace of god abound in your life amen thank him thank him 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Thank you for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the prophetic gift. Thank you for the gift of healing. Thank you for the interpretation of tongues. Thank him. Give him glory. Thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him. Thank him. Thank, Thank you, him. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Never the same Thank again. Thank him. Now, how many of you believe you receive something? We have. How many of you believe that there is an impartation of grace in your life? We've received. If you have received it, wave that Jesus may see. Keep on waving that Jesus may see. Hallelujah. Wave. Glory. In the overflow, wave. In Glory. the extension, wave. Wave. You watching us from around the world, wave. Barababa, this is a sign of acceptance of what Hallelujah. God has done and given you. Thank you, Jesus. Marebese, Zata. Now look at me. What God gives you, it is for you now to walk right. accordingly. Amen. The Lord will give us time where I want to teach you even more. I want to take you step by step, little by little, on how to operate in the spiritual realm. Are you hearing me? How to exercise your authority and operate in the spiritual realm in a practical way. How to see in the spirit. How to hear in the spirit. How to address issues from the spiritual realm. Are you hearing me? Amen. But this cannot be done in one day. We will need to build it slowly. Amen. But your responsibility now is to walk according to and walk on what the Lord has given you. Amen. Somebody say, I have received. I have received. The impartation of God. The impartation of God. The impartation of power. The impartation of power. In my life. In my life. I will never be the same again. I will never be the same again. Say, I will never be the same again. I will never be the same again. Say, I am stronger now. I am stronger now. Than I have ever been. Than I have ever been. I am stronger. I am stronger than my enemies. Than my enemies. I am stronger. I am stronger in the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm. Now that you are strong in the spiritual realm, can we kick some devils out? Oh yes. The spirit of infirmity called HIV is leaving you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Is leaving you when? Tonight. The spirit of the enemy, mm. called high blood pressure or low blood pressure, is leaving you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Sugar diabetes is leaving you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Arthritis is leaving you tonight. Somebody receive. Cancer is leaving you tonight. Receive. Any form of tumor is leaving you tonight in the name of jesus poverty is leaving you tonight in the name of jesus i say poverty is leaving you tonight in the name of jesus luck is leaving you tonight in the name of jesus there will be death cancellation that will take place tonight i receive i say again there will be death cancellations that will take place tonight. I receive. Every witchcraft and jujus done against you is catching fire tonight. Receive fire. Every witchcraft and juju done against your progress is catching fire, fire. tonight. Every flying devil, creeping devil, walking devil, swimming devil released against you is catching fire tonight. Fire. 
the spirit of no progress that kept you in the past, the spirit of stagnation that kept you immobile, he's breaking today. In Jesus' name, I was in the name. Now, if you are sick here today, if you are sick, but you are blind, you can't walk, you can't move. You have pain in your body. There is a lump in your body. Or whatever the case may be. You're receiving your healing. Amen. Receive. In the name of Jesus. I say you're receiving your healing now. I receive. If you have a loved one who is not well and you have come for him, you are calling on my God for him. May my God manifest himself. I receive. May God touch him, touch her, wherever he is or she is. Now! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to give you a few minutes. Pray against every sickness. Now that you have authority. Now that you have power. Mm. Now that the impartation is in you. What you used to take a month to manifest, it will manifest in the next second. I yes. will say. Lift your hand. Pray against every sickness. Pray against every devil of poverty. Devil of lack. Pray against every spirit of the enemy. Whatever is keeping you bound in the same place, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Pray! Jesus, thank you for healing. Thank you for healing us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. There is a young girl here. You are 23 years old. You were raped when you were 14 years old. At the age of 14, you were raped. And three months 
later, you discover that uh, you are HIV positive. Now you are 23 years old. Your name is Ilda. 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 God is healing you. If you are here, Ilda, God is healing you. Receive your healing. If you are here, wave. Oh, come, find a way. I don't know how. Find a way. Ilda, 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 Ilda. Where is she? Is she here? She's here. Somebody help her come. Let me meet her. Ilda, you are healed. Somebody say, Ilda. Ilda. You are healed. Oh, Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Come here, come, 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 come. Come come here, come, 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 come. Look at her. Jesus. Were you raped when you were 14 years old? Yes, man of God. Look at me. You see this? We are praying here. Power has come. God has located her. God has healed her. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, look at me. Turn. Look at me. L few months ago, in October, they diagnosed you with uh, TB. Is that true? Yes, man of God. You are staying with two of your sisters. Yes, man of they God. They are telling you, go home to mommy because we don't want you coughing here. Yes, no. Is that true? Yes. Is that true? And you are asking yourself, Lord, Lord, Lord. She was raped when she was 14 years old. <laughs> Three months down the line, she discovered she was HIV. She's 23 years old. Now, because of TB, her sister said, this is becoming too much. Go home to mommy to take care of you. you mean of but you cry. Because even I see you are working in, the, in, in a saloon in a mall. Rose, uh, Rose Tenville Mall. Is that true? Hear me, I'm not praying for you to be healed because you are already here. Hallelujah. May you to receive your healing. Glory to Jesus. I said, May you to receive your healing. Look, I am seeing a vision, and in this vision, I'm seeing a young lady. She is on a blue tree, she has a black inside. It's written the church. She has a long white blouse. This woman has a, a child who's called Anesu. Anesu. Anesu was born on the 15th of October 2012. Three years back, you discover you are HIV. And then now, when we are praying here, you're saying, Oh God, remember me. Because you came, you have two masks. They are, they, it's like lamp under your left. Ampit. God say, you are healed tonight. Receive your healing. Glory You to are Jesus. healed tonight. Thank you, Jesus. If you are here and you know I'm talking to you, I want to see you too. If you are here, if it is you, I want to see you too. If it is you, if that person is here, if I call you and you are here, I want to see you. Baraba sete. Ramamama sete. Where's the person? Run! Glory to Jesus. Run to me. Don't model. Run. Somebody help her. She can't see her ways. Thank you, Jesus. There's a healing in this room. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. With my name on it. Hey. Jesus. Is that you? Look at this. Look at the church. Yes, Just the way Have you came. seen this? Hey. Oh, God. Hear me. Jesus has healed you. Were you that knows HIV? Amen. Is that true? Yes. Did you come with a lamp under your armpit? Amen. I was saving it. I can't feel it now. Hey! You can't feel it? Hey! 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 There's a miracle in this room. I can hear you. With your name on it. Celebrate Jesus. I 
to say this is how you will be seeing uh, are you hearing me thank you jesus you'll be seeing clearly if you are called to prophesy as you connect yourself with this altar today i speak accuracy i say i speak accuracy i will say in the name of jesus, jesus. Young woman, Glory to Jesus. Today is a good day. Amen. Go and eat chicken. The Lord has done it for you. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There's a miracle in this room. With your name on it. There's a healing in this room. With your There's a breakthrough in this room with your name on it. Hey, my God. So I'm gonna put a praise on it. I'm gonna put a praise on it. Somebody put a praise on it. Hey, can I put? Hallelujah. Are you ready for what is coming? We are ready. Are you ready for what is coming? We are ready. You see, you pull it from inside. Things of the spirit are not just taught. They are caught. From the time of John the Baptist till today, the kingdom of God suffers violence. Amen. The violence. Take it, take by, it by force. force. In the spiritual realm, there are no models. You don't do modeling in the spiritual realm. Yes. In the spiritual realm, there are no bosses. You don't play the boss in the spiritual realm. Amen. You take your position as a child of God. And you begin to work to a valley in the field of your father. Amen. God is turning things around. God is turning things around. I will save it. Let me tell you something. I'm saying this not to scare anybody. Mm. But I want to warn somebody. Somebody who's here. I love you. While we are here, you, you know who you are. Mm. You are trying to steal from your neighbor. Ah. Yeah. Now you... You don't, I can't. Yeah. Fire! The devil is alive. I say, I'm not saying this to scare you. Hey, my bag. No, 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 no. You, let me teach you something to help you. There was one day in a church, somebody who came seeking God because the person had lung cancer. And as the pastor made an article, call, this person came. Being weak, the person could not take care of his own. Next to that bag was a thief in the church. Who steals in the church? The devil. Hey! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know what you see. They're solid. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. 
My name is Aflukawi. Hey! Glory to Jesus. Yeah! Now here, this is to help you. This person that had lung cancer came for deliverance. But there was a thief in the house who went to steal from that bed. And the Lord spoke to the leader, to the pastor, while praying for this person. He said, God is saying, demons of cancer are leaving you, but they're going to whoever stole from you. Hey! Jesus. Travel up. Now I'm saying this. I am saying this. Not because I'm trying to bring judgment on you. I am teaching you. Amen. If you find a church far from here, maybe there, there is too much fire hey. in this oh, yes. house hey. that you may play cheeky cheeky while we are calling on Jehovah. Hey. How dare you? Don't worry. Whatever they took is coming back. Yes. yes it's amen. coming back. Yes, sir. It's coming back. Lift your hands. Don't, don't worry. If I'm handling it, it's done. Amen. Glory to Jesus. But let me think. You too. You, you stealing. You have three children. Your children. Don't you think of them. You stealing. Not in a mall. Where people are coming to speak to God. Really? Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord will handle it. Amen. The Lord will handle it. Jesus' name. The Lord will handle it. Every evil power mm. unleashed against you. Yes. Every spirit release deployed to hurt you to hurt your life may the Lord I serve rebuke him in the name of Jesus Amen Zakate roboshia matakata sete Jesus. Jesus. See, I take authority. I take authority. Against every evil power. Against every evil power. Unleash against me. Unleash against me. Say devil. 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 The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Say devil. Devil. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. I command you now. I command you now. Live my life. Live my life. Live my life. Live my life. Get out of my house. 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 Never return. Never return. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Said today. Today. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority. I take authority. Against every contrary spirit. Against any contrary spirit. Deployed against me. Deployed against me. Satan. Satan. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Is against you. Is against you. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Out of my health. Out of my house. Out of my finances. Out of my finances. Out of my family. Out of my family. Out of my relationship. Out of my relationship. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I call on fire. 
I call on fire. Fire! 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 In Jesus name. Amen. May the fire of the Holy Ghost May the fire, fire of the Holy Ghost consume today. Consume today. Every work of the enemy. Every work of the enemy. Every work of Satan. Every work of Satan. Every work of wizards. Every work of wizards. Every work of witches. Every work of witches. Against my life. Against my life. I destroy today. I destroy today. Every wicked altar. Every wicked altar. Of jealousy. Of jealousy. Of wickedness. Of wickedness. Of witchcraft. Of witchcraft. Erected against me. Erected against me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Take authority now. Begin to cast out the devil. Command every devil to leave. Take authority. Take authority. Leave. Take authority. Take authority. You have power. Live my life. You have power. Live my life. Take authority. Pray, take authority. Hey, Satan is submitted to you. Hey, devil. Devils bow to your authority. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against everywhere. Look at Zika, Lesa, Mohalama, Saka, Jema, Mia, Oza, Mande, Kedo, Mosha, Rika, Bua, Lisa, Kanda, Hada, Masa, Lama, Sate, Mosha, Hari, Ayi, Alo, Ola, Madiya, Mosaka, Tama, Ela, Mosa, Kedo, Kedo, Mosa, Lama, Reke, Leke, Lebo, Ita, Mosa, Rejoice, <laughs> Libro soma tamasa katamasa. Libro zoto mokoro mosa katamasa. Hey, yako yato. Rosho lo mosa katamasa. Shana ba 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 ba. Spirit of God, rule it out. Spirit of God, rule it out. This is your night of power. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of say I renounce. I renounce. I renounce. I renounce. I renounce. Every evil covenant. Every evil covenant. I have entered into. I have entered into. Knowingly. Knowingly. Or unknowingly. Or unknowingly. Say I renounce. I renounce. Every evil covenant. Every evil covenant. I found myself into. I found myself into. Family covenant. Family covenant. Ancestral covenant. Ancestral covenant. Tribunal covenant. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say today. Today. I release myself. I release myself. Say I release myself. I release myself. From every evil agreement. From every evil agreement. Every evil family agreement. Every evil family agreement. 
I detach myself. I detach myself from every generation curse. From every generation curse. From every family curse. From every family curse. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. I am God's property. I am God's property. My spirit. My spirit. My soul. My soul. My body. My body belongs to God. Belongs to God. In the name of Jesus. 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 I am sanctified. I am sanctified. For Jesus Christ. By Jesus Christ. For Him alone. For He alone. For Him alone. For Him alone. Now, family, take authority. Release yourself from every ancestral, every family curse, every family agreement, every covenant of the family, release yourself release yourself, whatever agreement, whatever covenant was cut was made in the past, in your bloodline does not come to you you are not bound by this you are not bound by it I say you are not bound by it I decree, I declare you are not bound by it you are not bound by it Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. I cut it in the name of Jesus. Moya Zeka Mahalemo Sita Malemo Sita Malemo. Riba Hosa Kate Mete Lemo Sita Mandala Hosha. Rika Bosho Hola. Bosa Tara Baba Zete. Rima Hata Kata Kate Zeta. Bosa Tare Kato. Rokoto Soto. Barre Kate Reke Sata. Robo Sata Reketa. Get a robo sete. Release yourself. Release yourself. You are God's property. Your life is not your own. Your life is not your own. You belong to Him. You belong to Him, the Lamb of God. Libro Blood of Jesus, 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 blood of Jesus. Zara Baba Zete Rekete Zata Osoto Here it is I have an open vision and I'm seeing like rain drops coming on people and it seems like as these drops are falling on somebody it grows bigger it's falling on you, you grow bigger. You grow bigger. This tells me that God is distributing whatever we came looking for, whatever we're trusting him for. God is answering, he's honoring. God is giving it to you. Is there anybody receive that? I receive. I say, is there anybody receive I receive. So I receive, I receive, I receive. I receive. I receive. Now, I want you to seal, seal Jeez. that which I am seeing in your life. This is how you seal it. We will pray and declare words. And through the words that you declare, you will seal it. Mm. Prosperity mm. must show up in your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name 
Lift your hands and say, I will be broke no more. I will I'll be, be broke. broke no more. Now, I will not lead you to it. Mm. Sphinx, uh, stop that. Take him, take him, take, take him. Hear me. Hear me. Don't, don't follow those distractions. Hear me. Today, whatever God has set for you to have, may you receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. There, there are things that God has done for you. There are things that are yours. But uh, unless you declare it and you seal it in your life, right. it will not manifest. Amen. You have to seal it. Are you hearing me? Amen. You have to do what? Seal it. Now, how do you seal it today? You mm. declare words. Are you hearing me? Jesus. You are a pastor. You are in ministry. Ah. And your ministry is not growing. The will of God is that all may be saved. Yes. You hear this? The will of God is that all, all means everybody, everybody. may be saved. There is no design in heaven for you that speaks small. Your mission is to empty hell and fill up heaven. Amen. Now, Jesus. pastors, the power of the word and the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. are higher than the power of any culture. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, where I am, the culture. Jesus Christ was not accepted. And the Bible says, fire took communities. Mm. There is no place you say the gospel is not accepted. Meaning that the gospel you've been speaking about is weak. From this day forward. Hey. May you introduce the hey. almighty God. Still nothing to show for it. Mm -hmm. You a father, you are asking yourself, if today you do not live, you don't exist, your children are in the street because there is nothing you have built. Nothing for them. Your hands are empty. It stops now. Are you hearing? Amen. I, I say it. it stops now. I Is receive. there anybody receiving this word? I receive. Many come here and they go back with testimonies. And when they come to report, they say, this is what I saw in my life. This is what I saw. This will be your story. I believe. I said, this will be your story. I receive. I said, this will be your story. I receive it. Lift your hands. Say, I bless my life. I bless my life. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. The blessings of God are mine. The blessings of God are mine. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. I am not empty. I am not empty. I am loaded. I am loaded. I am not empty. I am not empty. I am loaded. I am loaded. With grace and favor. With grace and favor. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Favor will follow me. Favor will follow me. Doors will open for me. Doors will open for me. I will move from glory to glory. I will move from glory to glory. So I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. This is the lowest I can ever be. This is the lowest I have ever been. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will move from glory to glory. I will move from glory. Glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. Divine health is my portion. Divine health is my portion. Sickness is not mine. Sickness is not mine. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the field. I am blessed in the field. I am blessed going out. I am blessed going out. I am blessed coming in. I am blessed coming in. I decree, I declare. I decree, I declare. Whatever I do. Whatever I do will prosper. Will prosper. The devil like it or not. The devil like it or not. My name is Favor. My name is.
his favor. I will move with speed. I'll move with speed. In the name of Jesus. 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 Take both your hand, put them on your head, and begin to bless yourself. Mm. Begin to bless yourself. Pronounce blessings over your own life. Bless yourself. It is well with you. Well with your family. Well with your children. Bless yourself. Bless yourself. Spectacle. Tita Kuria. Zoto Reketa Rokoto Soto Zata Rekete Reketa Bashata Basata Basata Bless your life. Continue to bless your life. I bless my life with your hands on your head. Continue to bless it. This is the atmosphere that everything you will say will come to pass. That everything you will decree will be established. I bless my life. I bless my coming in and my going out. I bless the works of my hands. I bless my ministry. I bless my marriage. I bless my children. I bless my grandchildren. I bless my establishment in God. I bless my elevation in the Lord. I bless my, my spiritual growth. I bless my coming in and I bless my going out. I bless my mission on the earth. I bless my assignment on the earth. I bless it. I bless it. I decree myself blessed. I am blessed of the Lord. I am not cursed. I am blessed. Bless your life. Bless your life. Speak the blessings over your life. Speak it over your life. You are blessed. You are favored. I am highly favored. I am uncommonly favored. Oh, the blessing of the Lord will never leave my life. The mark of God is engraved on my forehead. The mark of God is shining upon me. The light of the Lord is upon me. The entrance of the word of the Lord that is coming out of me brings forth light and brings understanding. Oh yes, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, oh God. I want you to hold your hands of your neighbor. This is an instruction from the Father. Don't move. That one didn't come yet. Hold the hand. Form a group. Form a group. We are still in the atmosphere of prayer. We came to pray tonight. We came to be filled in with the Holy Ghost. We came to be empowered spiritually. We came to be empowered for warfare. We came to be inspired, empowered to be working in the realm of the spirit where very few operate. We came for that empowerment that our eyes open with precision. Let us pray tonight that the word that has gone forth has fallen on you. As you are praying in agreement tonight, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover your children with the blood of Jesus. Cover that family member that you represent here tonight with the blood of Jesus. Speak into your neighbor's life. Your tongue is prophetic. Everything that comes out of your mouth is anointed. It is established. Open your mouth and speak in agreement. If you traveled from afar, that which you came for you have received. 
That which is upon you shall never leave your life. That which God has given you can never be taken away from you. It can only excel. It can only increase. It can only multiply. Speak over your life. This platform is for you. Speak what is in you to grow to the maximum fulfillment that you will see what God has brought you on the earth. I speak over my life tonight. I speak the will of God over my life tonight. I speak the will of God. I speak the will of God over my healing ministry tonight. I speak the will of God over my spiritual parents tonight. I speak the will of God into their marriage tonight. You've got power. You are entering the realm of the unseen where you alone can for I shall do exploits. You shall do exploits. You shall do exploits for the empowerment of the Lord is upon you. Oh, we came to be empowered tonight never the same again never the same again no prayer like yesterday but today's prayer will be answered the prayer of the now is coming in fulfillment oh God we thank you tonight we thank you oh God for legions of angels that's been assigned in our midst we thank you oh God that Lord our eyes has opened oh God in a dimension, oh God, that as we step with our eyes closed, our eyes are in fact open. For Lord, in the spirit, oh God, we shall always see. We shall never be caught by surprise. The enemy shall never catch you by surprise. For you are empowered. You are enlightened. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Now I want you to speak a word over our father's life speak a word over our mother's life speak a word over their children speak a word over the dwelling place everything that's attached to them let us open our mouths as we're speaking into their lives blessings are following you too father we lift our hands in agreement tonight we come in one accord and in one mind, O oh God. For Lord, it pleases you tonight. You say, O oh God, in your word, make my joy complete by being one-minded. By being in one mind, O oh God, tonight we come and we make your joy complete by being in one mind, O oh God. As we lift, O oh God, our spiritual father, our Flukau, before the throne of grace, our spiritual mother, Bishop Celeste Lukau, before the throne of grace. Their children, we lift them up, O oh God. O oh Lord, surround them tonight with a hedge of fire, O oh God. O oh Lord, that which they have given, O oh God, freely they have given and freely we have received. Now, God, we just bless them, O oh God. We bless their coming in and their going out. We bless the works of their hands, O oh God. We say, O oh God, no weapon fashioned against them shall be able to prosper. For them, O oh God, if you are with them, O oh God, who can be against them, O oh God? We call upon the army of angels, O oh God. We call upon the legions of angels that has been assigned to Elf and Celeste Lukau. Lord, that Lord they shall be increased in number father their lives are protected the vision of God unloaded in them is protected by the Holy Spirit the anointing of God shall be protected oh God the environment oh God shall be protected oh God cleanse oh Lord who does not belong in the inner circle Cleanse, O oh God, who does not belong next to them. Cleanse, O oh God, for your will, O oh God, is yes and amen upon your life, upon their lives. Father, we lift them up, O oh God, and we say ever forward and never backwards. Father, we thank you for the eyes of an eagle in our prophet. Father, that you will always see, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for Mama Celeste. We bless you for the strength of God in her. A woman, oh God, that we praise and call a blessed. Father, for I know, oh God, that the burden of ministry is upon her. But Lord, make it light upon her. Father, now we pray, oh God. 
under the anointing of my spiritual father. I release the grace of God. I release the anointing of God. Oh Lord, that anointing that breaks yokes and removes burden to go with each one of us as we came with buses, as we came with taxis, as we came with cars. May the angels of the Lord go with you. May you be encamped by the Lord. May you be encamped by his angels for he has commanded his angels concerning you. It is well with your soul. I say it is well with your soul. I decree that you are blessed coming in. I decree that you have received the spiritual gift. I decree that you will never lose it. I decree that as your eyes have opened tonight, you begin to see like an eagle. You begin to catch from the sky and you will go under the ground and never miss it. For the enemy shall never catch you by surprise again. I decree as a prophet under my prophet tonight that it is well with your children. I decree that the works of your hands are blessed. Now go in the uncommon peace and the uncommon favor of Almighty God. Go and be blessed. Be the anointed of the Lord. Go and bless somebody just with a light. Go and be the light of the earth. I bless your life. And the mighty name of Jesus and the church of God says the loudest, Amen. We love you and God bless you.